Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 yeah. They're always going to have a wee bit of pressure and they're putting a lot of high balls in their box. Um, but uh, no, just delighted to get the three points, but more importantly, delighted with the first half and the performance. Um, I thought the two strikers, Jackson, I thought was excellent. Young Ryan Stewart's had to pick anybody out because you know, in the first half, we were so much in control. And you know, you know, we were disappointed with the result last week. We certainly were not disappointed with the second half performance. We asked the players to try and kick on where well they, well they started in the second half last week. And they did that. But uh, two great finishes for Jackson. And you know, we're, we're fortunate that we've got somebody, you know, I've worked with him for, for a young age. And I know what he can give us. And he gives you absolutely everything he's got. And, no disrespect to anybody that's here, you know, Andy Jackson uh, should be playing high level. I think the key was you, you worked very hard, even when you're under pressure, it is in the whole team worked exceedingly hard, didn't it? Well, I mean, if you know what I had to work with during the week, uh, we had nine players at training on Tuesday, you know, we had three out, um, and we've got another three injured, two, two look kind of long term uh, at the minute. So numbers wise, we're really, really struggling. Um, uh, you know, with Ewan Moyes, Jerry McLaughlin, Andy Jackson this week all missing, and uh, you know they've managed to they've managed to roll the sleeves up, put on the jersey, and just proud of proud of the performance today. Mm -hmm. Scott Young gave them a lot of problems uh, early first half, long balls they couldn't call. Scott, Scott, I, I know for his time at Stenny and his time at Cowan Beath, didn't maybe didn't quite do as well last year. Picked up a few injuries when he was at East Five, but he's a handful. You know what I would like to see him is he could probably get his first league goal. He's in a good position. I think maybe a slow more penalty in the second half there. And uh, you know he maybe just needs a bit. Of, you know maybe just needs to hit the back of the net to give him some confidence. But a lot of his good work's done outside the box, bringing people into play, bringing Jackson into play, bringing the field players, the white players into play, and that's why I brought him here. And it was good as you were saying that you carried on your performance in the second half of the I was delighted with our performance in the second half last week. We didn't get what we deserved and you know we move on fairly quickly and the way to move on is to try and be positive, which we did in the first half, and come away from the game with three points. The players are absolutely shattered in there. And as Andy Millen says, you know, when you come off the park every time you should be able to look around the dressing room and, and, and see that. I don't think there's much energy left in the dressing room. And uh, you know, we've got another tough, tough uh, game, home game next week. And uh, you know, hopefully we can we can maybe add to the squad next week to take a bit of pressure off the injuries just now. And uh, and then before we go into the break, because that would be a good time to get into the break, hopefully we'll another another uh, little bit of three points, hopefully. Okay, Jim, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Reflections on the outgoing. Uh, Disappointed you not get any today. I thought first half you can't come you can't play football and get two goals the way that we did in the first half. You know, poor poor defending. We gave ourselves a, a mountain to climb. I thought they were much better. That it was much better the second half. Came out, passed the ball, maybe get the goal just a wee bit too late to put a, a great deal of pressure on. But once I got one, I thought you know we scored that earlier. We might have got a, we might have got an equaliser. I think you can see it towards the end of the game. Right? Pretty much done, and the fact that we a lot of the ball. Yeah, just got to be more ruthless up front. You know, when, when we do get chance to get into areas to cross the ball, yeah. some poor crosses. But, um, a better safety, much better safety. Yeah, you bully about the two strikers that caused you a lot of problems in the first period, didn't they? Yeah, they did, and they caused us a problem. We boy looked sharp up front, but uh, they, they caused us problems, and I think we caused ourselves problems. I think we've had two set plays. They've broke on us twice and scored two goals. That was, uh, it was, I've got to say, we, we gave ourselves a lot to do the day. We'd be giving the goals away in the first half. You don't mind if somebody works for it and uh, they get good goals. But, I mean, you'll consider them good goals, but for us, for us attacking, the, uh, to actually end scoring on the other end is pretty good.